with over well, almost 300,000 members and 6,000 self-service vehicles around North America and the UK. To show you how they're gonna enhance their experience for Zipcar members with the iPhone, I'd like to bring up Luke Schneider. Luke. Thanks, Scott. Good morning. Joining me today is Jonathan Wolf, principal engineer at Zipcar. We're very excited to introduce our new Zipcar iPhone app today using Jonathan, a typical Zipcar member. He'll be picking up friends for dinner later tonight, but Jonathan doesn't own a car. As with more than 25% of our Zipcar members, Jonathan says his life is on his iPhone. So as he walks along Mission Street, he taps the Zipcar icon to instantly find and reserve a Zipcar. The application locates him, then immediately shows him all the available Zipcars nearby. Now, with the iPhone 3.0 SDK Map Kit, maps embedded in our application make it fast and easy for Zipsters like Jonathan to search, pan, and zoom into Zipcar locations all around the city. Indicated by these stylish Z push pins, Jonathan instantly sees all the Zipcar locations nearby. Green pins indicate cars that are available now. When he taps on a pin, up pops the location name and the number of available zip cars. With current location and geocoding, zip car members instantly see vehicles in any zip car city, such as New York, Boston, Toronto, San Francisco, even London. Jonathan selects Beale Street, a location within walking distance, and browses through the list of available zip cars. While a Prius is nice, he decides a Mini Cooper would be more fun for the group. He selects Mini McDougald from the list. All Zipcars have names. He learns everything he needs to know about Mini McDougal before reserving, what it will cost, how many will fit comfortably, even a few fun facts. And because he'll probably want to reserve this car again, he taps the heart button to be sure to tag it as a favorite. Next, he taps reserve, dials in his time information, and reserves the car for five hours. A few more taps, done and confirm, and the Mini McDougald is his for the evening. Now, as he nears the car's location, Jonathan needs some help finding his car among the variety of zip cars in the pod. Well, I'm happy to say he can now hear where his car is simply by tapping the horn icon on his iPhone. <laughs> now that he's located his car, Jonathan taps unlock, and the car actually unlocks. He jumps inside with a key and an iPod adapter await him, and off he goes. And that is Zipcar on the iPhone. Thanks very much. Thanks, Luke. In our final demo, two companies have teamed up. Line 6 is a leader in digital guitars and guitar amps, and Planet Waves makes the wildly popular iPhone music application Chordmaster. Together, they've created a solution to allow you to control both your guitar and your amp at your next gig right from your iPhone. To show you how it works, I'd like to invite up Marcus Ryle. Marcus? Thanks, Scott. Thank you. The history of rock and roll has been built by using and misusing countless pieces of gear to create the sound in an artist's head. Today, digital modeling makes it possible to put the sounds of hundreds of amps, guitars, and effects all into one system, which greatly simplifies the amount of gear you need in order to play a wide range of sounds. But it can be time consuming to create your own sounds, and once you have them, there's still the job of taking them wherever you want to play. This all changes now with the new MIDI mobilizer. Using the accessory framework in iPhone SDK 3.0, we can now directly connect an iPhone to a Line 6 Veta amp and Variax guitar, making it easier than ever to control your sound. Matthew Faust is using Planet Wave's rig remote software to choose from any of the 80 guitar amp models that we have in our VETA amplifier that's just off stage. And we've got it hooked up to the PA so you can hear San Francisco's own Tal Morris show you what it sounds like. We're going to start 
with a classic clean American amp model. Now let's go for a more modern high gain model. All right. Well, I'll wrap up by telling you we can save complete rigs, which will instantly put together all of the amplifiers, effects, and guitars all at once, instantly, with the iPhone. What this means is that you could show up at a gig, load your tones into any VET and Variax, and you're ready to play. So thanks to iPhone's accessory framework and its intuitive interface, finding the perfect tone has never been easier. Thank you. The chance of something going wrong is you know, directly related to the number of people watching. Uh, and the interest and the interest here is huge. Uh, and all the demos beforehand, it worked fantastically. And it is very cool how the phone literally can change your guitar and your amp to set it up. And they actually can remember whole settings for different songs. So when you're at a gig, you can hit one button, and everything is set for that song for that gig. Next. So that is all part of iPhone OS. 3.0. For us, our job is to make developers successful. And we think you're going to absolutely love iPhone OS 3.0. It will be free for all iPhone customers, both of the original iPhone and the current iPhone 3G. It will cost $9.95 for iPod Touch customers, both of the first generation and the current second generation iPod Touch iPhone OS 3.0. It will be available worldwide June 17th. And for all of our paid developers and the iPhone developer program, we are giving you the GM seed of iPhone OS 3.0 today. You can go and download it today. There are two calls of action for you. Number one, you need to go to iTunes Connect and assign a parental control age rating for your applications. And second, download iPhone OS 3.0 and test your applications against it if you haven't already been, able, been doing so with the betas. Make sure that your apps are compatible with 3.0. If not, quickly submit an update of your application. And that is iPhone OS 3.0. We are so excited about it. It is a fantastic relief both for re release both for consumers and for developers. We can't wait for you to get your hands on it. Thank you very much. And with that, I'd like to hand it back over to Phil. Phil. Thanks, Scott. <laughs> to call the iPhone 3G a hit, I think, would be the understatement of the year. Some people have called it the phone that has changed phones forever. And it's truly an amazing thing. The iPhone has changed how people think about their phones. It wasn't that long ago where we were so frustrated with these, let's call them crappy devices. And now they're unbelievable, incredible. It's changed what we can do with a phone. It's changed the things we expect as we're traveling around.